Yeah, I think that this is quite an interesting story. I don't know whether you are aware of the fact that the concept of the cultural institutes uh, was invented by Hungarians, uh, fun enough, uh, at around uh, First World War, um, or just, uh, just after the First World War. And it was uh, taken over by the British very, very soon, and uh, British Council in Warsaw was set up uh, before the Second World War in 1938, I believe. And that was the second British Council in the world. And fun enough, uh, more or less at the same time, we set up Polish Institute here uh, in London. And it was our first institute ever opened. That was also before, just before the Second World War. So that's quite symbolic. And um, so you are here in our office. Uh, this is the, the oldest Polish institute, but the youngest stuff. So, um, you know, uh, a crossroad of tradition, uh, tradition and modernity, if we can say so. Um, it was always a part of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Poland. Right now we have 22 institutes, uh, 20 of them in Europe one of them in the United States and one in Israel. And I think that gives you a picture of uh, what is our priority in terms of cultural presence. Um, unfortunately, in Britain we have just one institute. However, now we have quite a lot of different centers set up by Polish people uh, with which we collaborate on a, on a regular, regular basis. It was also, you ask about the history of the Polish Institute here, the, the name changed many times, you know, it was called Center, it was called Polish Institute, Polish Cultural Institute, uh, there was a dark uh, side of the history of that institution, of this institution. Uh, during the communist era, it was a propaganda tool for Polish People's Republic, as a kind of... Um, force fighting against the Polish emigre community here. So, you know, many changes, but here we go now. Modern office, um, nine dedicated people, and doing as much as we can. You know, our office time is obviously nine till five, but as a matter of fact, our, our institute, that's a mixture of uh, office entertainment, let's call it, and nightlife, because just after five we are attending, all of us basically, a lot of different cultural events organized by our British partners, uh, by our European partners who are quite active here in London.